Hello students, today we are going to study about simple equations. So, let us see what is an equation. An equation is formed when two expressions are equal to each other. So, now, what are the expressions? So, I am writing here x plus 3. Is it an ex equation? No, this is just an expression. Now, I am putting one equal sign and I am giving 7 to the next side. So, now we have this equal sign. And the equation is telling, an equation is formed when two expressions are equal to each other. Now, see in this condition, x plus 3 equal to 7. So, this is an equation. Now, equation has always two sides and these two sides are equal. So, this side is called L, H, S and the next side is called R, H, S. L, H, S means left hand side. And this side right hand side. So, the equation tells us that two quantities are the same. Now, let us see one more example for uh, equation. Now, I am writing here 2p plus 5. Is it an equation? No. It is just an expression. Now, as I am putting here equal to sign it and giving the right hand side, then it will convert into equation. So, here are some numbers. Suppose I have written 90. So, this full is called equation now. This is the left hand side. This is right hand side of the equation and this is equal to sign or we can say it equals now, the question is, why do we need an equation? An equation helps us to find the unknown quality of the expression. Now, what is the unknown quality? Suppose I am writing here, 4x plus 2 is equal to 10. We know what is 4, 2 also 10. So, what is the unknown quality here? x x is unknown quality so this equation will help us to find out the value of x like this one more example i'll give you z plus 3 equal to 12 so 3 you all know what is 3 12 everyone knows so what is unknown here Z. So, this equation will help us to find out the value of Z. Like this, if I am writing 2 upon 5 Y equal to 6. So, 2 upon 5 everyone knows, 6 everyone knows. So, what is the unknown quality here? Y. So, we have to, oh, this equation will help us to find out the value of Y. Now, an equation co consists of two parts. First is constant and second is variable. Now, what is constant? The fixed numerical value is called constant. Fixed Fixed numerical value like 2, 3 upon 5, 1, minus 2. These all are fixed numerical value. Now, what are the variables? What are the variables? They do not have a fixed value.
like x y n p f now coming to the formulation of equation how to form an equate equation Example one twelve less than a number. Suppose this is X equals equals twenty. So what will be the equation for it? number 12 less than a number what is the number x minus 12 is equal to 20 so this is the equation see second example five times of a number A equals twenty. Here times means multiply. So five times a number A equals twenty. So uh, five times of A. Five multiplied by A equal to twenty. Or we can write it five A equal to twenty. Now we will see solving equations. How to solve the equations? First method. Solving mentally. by inspection so see the example for it solve 4 plus n equal to 9 now solving mentally by inspection so we will inspect this what is this 4 plus n is equal 9 so now think you have to think about it 4 plus what number is equal 9 now we will think 4 plus 5 equal to 9 so we can write here 4 plus 5, 5 equal to 9, right? So, what is the value of n here? n is equal 5. This method we can use for simple small equations. Second method, solving equations. by using inverse operation. Now here what is the meaning of inverse? Inverse means flipping or doing opposite. Now we will understand by this table what are the inverse of the operation. So
first operation. If u have to be plus, so what will we do? As inverse operation, we will do minus. Suppose your minus we have to do, so as inverse operation, what will we do? Plus. Like this, if multiply is in the operation, what we have to do? Divide as inverse operation. Suppose divide is given here, so we will do multiply as inverse operation. So, let us see some examples for it. So, example 1, y plus 7 equal to 10. So, what are we adding here? 7. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. If we are adding 7 here, so we will subtract 7 as inverse operation. Now, keep it in your mind. If you are subtracting 7 from the left hand side, you have to subtract 7 from right hand side also. So, plus 7 minus 7, 0. What left here? Y. And this side, seven, 10 minus 7, 3. So, the value of Y is 3. Here, I want to explain you some rules. An equation rem remains unchanged. Unchanged means equation did not change. If you add the same number both its side or subtract same number both its side or multiply its both side with the same number or divide its both side with the same number. So, the value of equation will not change. As I have done in this example, if I am subtracting 7 from the left hand side, we am subtracting 7 from right hand side also. So, it will not change the value of this equation. So, let us see example number 2. x minus 6 is equal to 2. So, what is the inverse operation of uh, uh, minus? It is plus. So, if we are subtracting here 6, so what will we do? As inverse operation, plus 6. Because it is minus 6, the inverse operation will be plus 6. If we are adding 6 in left hand side, so we will add in right hand side also. So, x minus x is 6 plus 6 minus 6 plus 6, 0 x is equal to 2 plus 6, 8. So, the value of x is 8. Now, our next example is for multiplication. 5p equal to 30. So, 5p equal to 30 means 5 multiplied by p equal to 30. So, what is the inverse operation of multiplication? Division. If we will divide this side also by, by 5 and this side also by 5. So, 5p divided by 5 equal to p. 30 divided by 5, 5, 6 are 30. The value of p is 6. Now, one example for division. n upon 6 equal to 8. So, by what we are dividing here? 6. The inverse operation of uh, mul division is multiplication. So, by what we will multiply? Of course, by the constant we are using left hand side. 6 ones are 6. n equal to 8 6 are 40. So, this is the method of solving the equations by using inverse operation. For plus, we have to do minus. For minus, we have to do plus. For multiplication, dividing. And for division, we are multiplying. Now, the third way to solve the equation is transposition. First, we will understand what is transposition. Shifting the term from one side of the equation to the other side of the equation is called transposition. 
Now let us see one example for it. X plus 10 equal to 60. So transposition means we are shifting one term from the left hand side to the right hand side. So x we leave alone because it is a variable. So both the constant will take one side. Now if we are shifting any of the term to the other side, we are changing its sign as opposite. For addition, we are doing uh, minus and for minus we are doing plus. So your plus sign is there. So if we are changing its side, so we will give it by minus sign. So x equal to 16 minus 10, 6. Suppose the constant is with minus sign. So if we are changing its side, so we will give the plus side a plus sign with other side. One more example we'll see for it. Y minus 7 equal to 20. So y we leave alone. This 7 is with minus sign. If we are changing its side. So, we will give plus sign next, the other side. Y equal to 27. One more example here. Example number 3. 6 Q equal to 30. So, 6 is in multiply. Well, other side it will be in with the division sign. We can write it like this or we can write it 30 upon 6. So, Q equal to 5. Next example. P upon 11 is equal 5. Now, 11 is in the division or as denominator so this side it will go with the numerator or it will go with multiply sign p equal to 55 so now i hope you must have understood the simple steps of simple equation or basic steps of simple equations thank you so much